the MTV Asks Cheryl Cove. The only show where you'll see your questions put directly to the gorgeous pop princess that is Cheryl Cole. Now on to part two, which is the random round. I'm so excited about this. Yeah. I'm excited about this too, so I don't know what we're going to get. We're going to go to Kent, to Jade. You follow 20 fans a month completely at random. But do you have a method behind it? Is there some sort of method There's to how you pick them? There's not. Maybe sometimes along the way they get retweeted onto my timeline. Okay. And I like what they say. And I, or I'll have a little spy and I like what they talk about. Or other artists they like. But sometimes it's completely random. There is no, there's no method in me madness. I just go. Abby Griggs from Milton Keynes. You're returning to the X Factor. Woohoo! Um, what's your favourite thing about doing the show? I like nurturing new talent. Yeah. That makes us excited because I remember how I felt when I was coming up and when I wanted to be, and I hadn't done things yet. Like I've done everything, if not more than I could have ever expected or dreamed of. Mm -hmm. So to be the person that can help somebody else achieve that is, it's a special position to be in. I always find it really hard when you see someone on stage who's obviously really nervous. Do you kind of, because you've been in that position I can see past it. Can you? Yeah. Can you and, but does your heart not go out to them? No, absolutely. Yeah. And like, that's the worst part, actually. And people that you know have potential, like the Cher Lloyd. Yeah. When she messed up one of her. She was so nervous. But yeah. But I love her. But I saw past it. Yeah. I think everyone else was like, we can't do this. But I could feel that she was talented. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We're going to go to Christina in the UK. If you were Simon Cowell for a day, let's just imagine that. Picture, picture yourself in his pants, picture oh, the hair, yeah. hair, tan, done. You're Simon Cowell, what would you do? What would I do? Get some manners. <laughs> and you know what? I hear all the banter, but I think you guys, you guys have a soft spot. He's, he's a nice guy. No, he is. He's a nice guy. I do love him, really. Debbie from Florida. Do you still see the girls from Girls Aloud? And also, because I remember you asked Kimberly to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> and Twitter kind of went a little bit crazy after that. Um... So you haven't married Kimberly. It was She's when, pregnant and happily with someone. Yes, it was when um, the equal marriage yeah. came around, and I was. We were all like, "Oh, this is amazing! You know, marriage shouldn't be mm -hmm. whatever." So that was my proposal to Kimberly. But no, she did. She turned us down. She politely declined and is now having a baby. She was just round at mine yesterday, actually. Mm -hmm. um, she's so big now that she gets too hot for a cup of tea, <laughs> which is annoying. Really? Because we always drink cups of tea. Okay. So I have to like pour a cool drink, make sure there's ice in the fridge. It's like a little bit different at the moment. We're going to go to, oh, Christy in Newcastle. On a night out, what's your go-to song that gets you up on the dance floor without fail? It's always a Beyonce song, isn't it? Yeah. Is there one particular Beyonce song? I like Drunk in Love. I like, like singing around on the dance floor. Yeah. I like drunk in love. What else is that? Any Beyonce song? Really? I'm, I'm up. Anisha in London says, have you ever choreographed your own dance moves? No, I, I, I always do. Do you? Is it? Yeah, okay. on video shoots. I mean, apart from the, the sections you see that are obviously choreographed with dancers, dancers. and you're in sync, the rest is just me. When okay. I, yeah. Do you... Like, sometimes I hate it, though. Do you? Yeah, and sometimes, like, somebody give us something to do. Oh, Has what's anybody got an idea? Yeah. yeah. But right. usually they're just like, no, freestyle, freestyle. Rebecca from Newcastle says, what is your best joke? I'm terrible at joke. Okay. What's brown and sticky? A stick. Yeah. What's pink and fluffy? Pink fluff. There we go. I feel like I've heard these before. <laughs> it's good though. It's good. That's about my accent <laughs> joke. jokes. Jodie in London says, do you watch Geordie Shore and what makes it so brilliant? I think everyone secretly watches Geordie Shore. I did. I watched it and I like having it on in the background for the for the accents. Yeah. Just does it feel like you're at home? Yeah, a little bit. I haven't seen any of the individual shows, but I have been locked in a dungeon for the past okay. nine months recording music. So. I do love when I've seen it when I was in um, Australia. They were playing it and they put subtitles up. So I don't understand them. I, I completely understand. <laughs> Sometimes even now when I'm talking to my friends and they talk to me I'm like, oh my god, they use even words that, oh, this is especially me nephews and nieces, okay. yeah, they use like new slang. I feel so out of the street. Destiny in the UK says, oh, I don't know your name, Destiny. Hello, Destiny. Who is on the guest list for your ideal dinner party? 
I would love to throw a party and just invite all the Twitter followers. So how, how many? Maybe not like how many people, Twitter like followers do you have? Follow. <laughs> okay. No, and just have like a big party. I feel like they need that sometimes. I think they would take you up on that if you did that. I'm guessing this next name is a Twitter handle. Juliana Loches. <laughs> from Manchester. Oh. If there is one thing you want to be remembered for, what is it? You know what? There's a famous quote that says, um, people forget what you said to them, people forget what you did, but people never forget how you made them feel. And I would like to make people feel good or happy for three minutes of a song or mm -hmm. uplifted, empowered, just positivity. Do you know what? I listened to your, they played your single on a radio station, a breakfast radio station, and I was getting ready for work. And I really got me going for the there day. It go. just kind of got a little bit as I was getting there ready. So that's all I'll I remember that feeling for a long time. So thank you. So final question from Shana in Bath. What's the best piece of advice you've been given and who was it by? I've been given a lot of good advice over the years and I do listen. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the best is to just take the, the positive from every situation. Who gives you the most advice? Me friends. Yeah. Kimberly's always got something good to say, Nicola, me mother, mm -hmm. the usual. I know, you always, like, I never listened to my mother growing up and then I realised, you know what? She was actually right, yeah. Don't tell her I said it that. It takes a while for you to get there, but then you're like, okay, got it. Well, that was it. That was the random round. That wasn't too bad. Doesn't bad at all. You've got lovely fans. Would you like to say anything to your fans watching for sending in all the questions? They know. They know I love them a lot and I'm so proud of them. Well, I want to say thank you very much. Thank um, you. And the only way we should really leave this show is to probably give your fans something back, which is the brand new video. Yes. So I'm not going to introduce it. If okay. you want to look to the camera and introduce your brand new video. Hi, it's Cheryl here. And this is the brand new video for my new song, Crazy Stupid Love.